Eagle Wings Ironcraft has available their all metal turntable. Available in any size that you need for your garden railroad. At a recent show, we had a chance to view and talk with them about their product. A lot of the units have a. Incremental. They, they're incremental. They have to stop at 12 and a half degrees, 24 degrees. The way we built this one is that you can stop it anywhere you wish. You're not limited to where you put your exit points. So if someone's built uh, an engine house, right. then they can, you know, they might not have built the doors at every 15 degrees or right. 20 degrees. Exactly. And so this way they can put they can this put on here and it'll go want. to any one of the doors yes. because they can micro adjust it right to the alignment. Exactly. The motor has been designed so that you can run it off of a transformer. You can also run it off of a battery if you wish. You don't have to have, have uh, you know, it being hardwired. So it, it comes the way, the way we see it here, obviously without the train, is exactly how it comes. Absolutely. You basically can put it in a pit, a pit attach your power, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. The way we built it, is that you can use auxiliary power. You can actually run it off of, you know, radio control batteries. You know, for like radio control right. race cars, you can plug them in if you and want what, to. And what volt is it? Yeah, it'll run on three volts, nine volts, six volts, or 12 volts. Excellent. And it, it knows no difference. The only difference is between three volts and 12 volts is about a quarter of a revolution a minute. Okay, so, so it'll run a little bit faster and higher voltage, but right. it won't be like a wild out of control thing. Right, and actually we're running this on 9 volts here, and the reason for it is 9 volts is more prototypical. But the thing is, at this speed too, you can pretty much, you can just line it right run up. Run it up real easy. And, and at one of the shows, well, you were there, the last show at the uh, Queen Mary. Mm -hmm. We actually had one of these, we wanted to test it. We took it out and, the, and was setting out by our modules, that's the, the uh, ABTO module. We let this run 24 hours. And it just went around and around. Yeah. And we had a big heavy engine, we had a Pacific on it there. Dan can build these to any length. If he builds one for me, it's going to be 60 inches. Right. And this particular one is how big? This is a, a 36. 36 inch, three right. foot. And, but again, it's the same motor, same gearing. It's all gear driven. This unit is 100% steel. He has the unit down there, the, the tray itself is fiberglass, right. but we're going away from that right. to the steel, and the reason for the steel is it, it's impervious to weather, and sure. it'll, it'll stay forever. Right. The, the fiberglass, you know, if you're in the southwest like we are, and you get heavy sun on it, it can can weaken the, the fiberglass. Right. Likewise, if you're in freezing weather, right. you know, you, you stand that chance of getting a little bit of moisture out of the frost damage. This makes no difference. Does this have drainage? Yes, there's a drain hole in the center. The electronics, everything comes from the center. The track is track powered. You have brass rings that come around. You have balls that ride the rings. So that's how you transfer the electric to it. So when you dig a pit, how deep a pit do you have to dig? Uh, probably a foot. Okay. Just, just where the electronics are so, in the middle. And then underneath that, with the electronics, do you have to do anything special? Not really. If it was me doing it, I would, I would put maybe a cement or a brick wall around right. it just to keep dirt, dirt from and getting. Stuff. And I would leave the pit maybe, uh, maybe 
three to six inches below it and put some peat gravel in. So if you get so moisture in, it can go it. through. But all the electronics and everything underneath are sealed, and there's no right, no maintenance that needs to be done in that right. area. Absolutely. Any of the 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 gearboxes and the little motor, they're all sealed. All the electronics, you can't see it here, but wherever there's an electric connection, okay. it's all bit rubberized. It's sealed in rubber, so you have no no fear of it. It's very simple to maintain. Uh, the gear case, there's no reason to ever take it apart to oil it or grease it. It's all, it's all permanently lubed. For additional information, you can visit www.eaglewingsironcraft.com. Hello, and welcome to Large Scale Online. I'd like to personally thank you for taking the time to come and visit our website. This three-minute video will give you information and details about the many features of LSOL.com. At the end of the video will be a special code that you can use today to save you $10 off your yearly subscription. So sit back, relax, and welcome to the world of LSOL.com. Large Scale Online is the oldest and largest website dedicated to large scale trains. It's the only place on the internet that you can get a weekly web magazine and keep up to date on the latest products, get breaking industry news, and see the hot buys that can make your railroad budget go farther. Here at LSOL.com there are several hundred Garden Railroad articles online right now waiting to be read by you. We don't charge you extra to download our old archived articles, but allow you to see everything since the first day that we've been online. Another unique feature of LSOL.com is our photo gallery. This easy to use software allows team members to share their photos with anyone on the web. Currently, we have over 60,000 photos of garden railroads and products. Why wait months to learn about a product when at LSOL.com you can see photographs and video the very day that products are introduced? Information does not get any fresher than that. LSOL.com is the only website that provides continuous, updated video streams for you to watch. We're also your eyes and ears to the national train shows and events around the world. We're the only news service that continually reports live from every major large-scale train show. If you can't go, we'll go in your place. In our workshops, there are thousands of LSOL.com team members standing by ready to help you solve your specific railroad problems and answer your how-to questions. With LSOL.com, you are no longer alone. You are part of the biggest large-scale train team anywhere. You can learn from the people who have been there, tried that, done that before. <music>